Good morning, good morning. God bless every one of you, saints of the Most High God. I trust every one of you had a wonderful week and a harder day. Amen. We bless the Lord for His faithfulness this morning, His goodness and His mercy towards us as His children. Hallelujah. Where will we be if it's not because of the mercies of God? Oh, this morning, wherever you are, just open your mouth and say, Jesus, I thank you for your mercies towards me. I thank you for your forgiveness. I thank you for your loving kindness towards me and my family. Hallelujah. God bless you. As we begin this day, let's turn our Bibles to Psalm 111, verse 5. The Bible says, He has given food to those who fear him. And he is mindful of his covenant with them. This morning, I want to let you know that we serve a covenant-keeping God. God keeps his promises, his covenant with those who fear him. As the psalmist says, God promised to be faithful. God promised to keep his part of the covenant to those who fear him and do his will. What does it mean to fear the Lord's sense of God? We hear this word all of the time, and even the scripture says, the fear of the Lord is the beginning of wisdom. That tells me that's very important to understand what it means to fear the God of the universe. To fear God means to respect God, to honor the word of God, to obey God and to do his will. Hallelujah. That's all God wants from us, to be able to respect him for who he is, have reference for his word, live a life of obedience, seeking to do his will in all things as his children. And do you know there are lots of blessings that comes when you fear the Lord, when you live your life in reverence of the Lord? A Christian, a believer, a saint who walk before the Lord, fearing him in all their ways. The Bible says they get knowledge, right? God gives them knowledge. Hallelujah. They get wisdom. God gave them long life. God showed them mercy. They become friends of God and they also have protection for, from God and even their children. When you read a book of Proverbs, we see it all right in there. That's the reason why Solomon wrote that proverb to make us to know that fearing God it is a blessing. It is a life-changing blessing. Maybe you are seeking God for protection. Maybe you are seeking God for long life. Maybe you need wisdom. You need knowledge. Maybe you need to experience the mercies of God in your life. But this morning, I say it all begins when you fear the Lord, when your heart fears the Lord, when you have reference and respect for the things of God, if you learn to honor God above all things, I'm telling you, saints of God, the blessings of low life, provisions, protection, knowledge, wisdom, mercy will always rest upon your home. That's the kind of relationship that David had with God. That's the reason why regardless of his mistake, God showed him mercy to the extent even his children when Solomon messed up. God said, because of your father David, I will show you mercy. Saints of God, I just want to encourage us this morning to begin to fear God, learn to fear God. God is the best person ever on the earth. He's the one that will never leave a leader forsake us. So let's learn to fear him in all things. May the grace to fear the Lord rest upon us from today in the mighty name of Jesus. I pray for those of you who are listening this morning and don't know Jesus. I want you to make life most important decision also. By turning your life over to Jesus, making the Lord of your life. As you do, your life too will become better. Maybe you are going through some things and you need direction. You need God's intervention. It begins at the cross. As you accept Jesus in your life this morning by seeing Jesus 
please come into my life. I'm sorry for all my sins. Be the Lord of my life. I'm telling you, your life will never be the same. And as you honor God by fearing him, when you do his way, when you die, you will go to heaven. And the blessings of God will rest upon you on this earth. God bless you as you make that life-changing decision. I pray today for the blessings of God to rest upon our life. I bring an end to night's wickedness in the mighty name of Jesus. I soak your lives, the lives of your children in the blood of Jesus. May the Lord carry you, may he preserve you, may he cause his face to shine upon you, and may he be gracious unto you. God bless you. See you guys tomorrow. Thank you. Bye-bye.